trying to do the classic YouTuber and um, have a really nice top so I'm put together all up here but down here is another story, comfy joggers, but it's okay, we can't see that, we can only see from here up, so. God. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at everything I've picked up, Ollie for his birthday, which is coming up in four days. I can't believe my baby's going to be five, but if you want some birthday gift ideas for a five-year-old, please keep watching. So just before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, you've never seen me before then, hello, welcome, my name is Emma. Here on my channel you'll find lots of different content. I post motherhood, vlogs, hauls, lifestyle, cleaning, organisation, so I really hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, please don't also forget to give this video a big thumbs up, it really helps support my channel and it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content. And leave me a comment down below, I love interacting with you and let's jump straight into the video. So my youngest, Ollie, he's going to be five um, on the 3rd of September, so I'm slightly heartbroken. I feel like I've blinked and my baby is starting school, he's five, and my emotions just can't take it. But I thought it'd be a really good idea. I actually struggle with Ollie on what to get him, um, so I thought this would be really helpful in case you're going through the same. Um, I was actually the same with Darcy this year as well. I was kind of a bit like, oh, they kind of have their bikes, etc. What do we get them? Um, so I spent some time, obviously, watched some YouTube videos. I also put a poll out on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, I'll leave the link here and down below. Um, and all you mamas helped me out a great deal and gave me loads of fantastic suggestions. So let's jump in. Okay, I've just got some ad, well not ad hoc, I've got some little things here, some customised things I just wanted to show you. This is what I do every year. Um, so I always get Ollie a birthday card made. I'll leave the link down below of the lady I purchased from, she's um, on Instagram. Um, and I'll show you kind of what I do with them every year. So this year obviously he's got, Ollie is five and we've got the diggers on the front because if you didn't know, you've not watched any of my other vlogs. Ollie is absolutely obsessed with diggers, combs. He is for sure gonna go and work with his daddy when he's older. I can just tell he's just got it in him. So yeah, it's just a custom made card. And what I like to do, I'm obviously gonna need to get a bigger frame, um, but I've got one for every year and I want to just keep them in a frame because I just think they're lovely. So he's obviously got his first one here. Ollie is one. Ollie is two, Ollie is three, Ollie is four, and then this is just some wrapping paper I had that I backed on in just an Ikea frame, and it looks so lovely in his bedroom, so obviously there's no room in this frame, I'm going to have to get the next frame size up. Um, also, I've got a cake topper made, I think I showed Darcy's um, when it was her birthday vlog, I always get them off of the same lady, it's um, Aria Lily Designs, again, I'll link her down below, um, we're pretty basic with Ollie because we do kind of like a monochrome theme, although this year I think I'm gonna have to change up for we're gonna compromise monochrome football slash fit theme so thank goodness for Amazon Prime because I need to get my button gear and get that ordered but yeah this is for his cake so it just says Ollie is five and it comes with the um, kind of like wooden skewers and you've got some sticky dots to just position how you want it so yeah I've got that and what else have I got oh I wanted to show you the wrapping paper actually I know this is really random but again I struggle to find really lovely wrapping paper um, and I found this in HomeSense. I got two rolls um, because I wasn't a great deal on there. What was it? It was, uh, where does it tell me? Oh, three meters on the roll. So yeah, it's just lovely. It's kind of like the brown traditional parcel paper just with some football designs on them. And they were 2 99 so I thought that was lovely. And I kind of, when I find a wrapping paper, I just like everything to match. So all of his gifts will be wrapped up in that. Okay, let's jump into the gifts. So just a very quick disclaimer, I've mentioned this down below, but everything I'm about to show you isn't necessarily everything that's coming from myself and my husband. So I am from a very big family. I am one of five children. Um, obviously that's my side of the family. Then we've got Tom's side of the family. Everybody obviously loves Ollie and wants to give him presents. So what I tend to do, um, after the first couple of years, everyone would just go and buy their own thing, which is fine, but we'd end up with duplicated presents, we'd end up with things that he didn't play with. So what most, the majority of the family do now is they ask me, is there anything Ollie would like? Is there anything you think he needs? So I tend to pick up bits as I'm going, because I don't like to do it all last minute. I'm kind of planning this a few months ahead. Um, and they will just say, is there anything you've got that we can buy for you from Ollie? So I tend to purchase a lot of things and then I, people will buy that off of me. So everything I'm about to show you isn't necessarily from myself and Tom, it's from our 
massively extended family um, and there's some gifts that obviously I haven't people have just purchased themselves that I won't be able to show you because it's not here so the bits that I've got here um, Ollie is really really into football much to my husband's absolute delight he is obsessed with it so um, gone is the lovely Instagrammable wardrobe that I could design and put him in no every day he's in a football kit so I've got these football kits on rotation so um, we've got him i've linked these down below because i found them in sports direct and they were really really reasonable and i had free printing on the back so he's just got the tottenham hotspur away kit just because our home kit is white and my son is um not great with white so he's got the away kit uh, it's just much more color wise children friendly and it's got ollie five on the back um and that comes he's still thankfully he's still able to fit in the mini kit so it all comes as one i think next year we're going to move into the realm of having to buy it all separately so you get socks with that um and then i also picked up the he loves this for some reason who even is this says me like i know who these people are oh juventus so he's got the new juventus kit again i have free printing so he's got ollie five on the back and this one again comes with shorts and socks so mm, this is white so gonna have to have the good old sting remover on hand with this but yeah he loves his football kits it's really cute and also with the football theme i managed to pick him up because hopefully um football training will start back up again very soon for all his age group and he needed another pair of football boots so i picked him up these again i got these in sports direct these are the adidas Predator predator ones they were 17.99 and he had these last season and we paid 52 pounds for them um so yeah they're just perfect for what ollie needs and he finds the ones he's got now really comfortable he didn't get many blisters or anything so i just thought we'll play it safe and we'll go with the same ones again this year okay so his main present this is from myself and tom we've picked bought him a new scooter um, because he currently has a three-wheeled scooter so two wheels at the front one at the back um, and he's really good he can ride his bike with no stabilizers he's been really confident on his bike for I think coming up two years now so he's well overdue a new scooter he loves riding his sister's two-wheeled scooter so we thought why not pick him up a new one and we opted to go with the micro sprite deluxe it's currently in the box so i am going to insert some footage of when it's built we're planning on building it tonight so everything's set up ready for thursday um but the reason we went with this one so micro if you don't know they are on the more expensive side so we paid 119 pounds 95 i think for this um but it actually lasts from age 5 to 16 obviously it could get damaged and broken in the meantime but they're designed to grow with the children okay next up i've got him um he has a couple of sets of kinetic sand already but i saw this and it's in a carry case and i just thought it was genius because at the moment it's they come in like the cardboard box it folds back over but he absolutely loves playing with kinetic sand and um they do like the builder version to the construction and this comes with a crane some diggers and kind of like a bulldozer i think he'll probably correct me on that when he opens it but yeah so i picked this up this was 30 pounds but i just thought it's um, actually amazing for storing it's got a carry handle on it and that's just a better picture of what it has included i got this off amazon it's not on offer anywhere i had a look at different places so i don't just kind of go to amazon but i've got prime so it came next day and this was 30 pounds okay and next up i think i'm gonna regret this one <laughs> you know when you buy something and you just instantly know you're going to regret it so he loves his kind of like nerf guns um the x shotguns he loves them and we were in the entertainer and they've got a really fab sale on it at the moment um if you haven't been in there or if you've got one local to you i'd highly recommend going in but they had this so this isn't nerf this is the x shot um this was on sale for 24 pounds you get four guns a whole heap of the rubber bullet things and some targets so i picked him up this because i know he will absolutely love it and then i also got him some um portable practice targets that he can take into the garden because he likes like lining things up and just trying to to shoot them down so yeah he's got these and i think this was seven pound in the cell as well so yeah i know he'll absolutely love that I'm sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out again. I'm literally filming this in my bedroom and I've got like a 20 minute window because Ollie's not here at the moment. So I'm trying to show you all what I've got so I can get it all hidden um, before he comes back home. So if the lighting keeps going dark and light, I do apologise. It's because 
weather is a bit all over the place today um but yeah from the entertainer again he loves all things construction as i said and he loves um the brooder range he's got loads and loads of different things from it but he saw this in there and said he didn't have it and i checked through his box of um toys that he's got and he doesn't have this one um and this was on sale for 16 pangs in there as well so it only had a couple of pangs off but i mean anything is worth a save with brooder because these are pricey toys um so yeah he's gonna love that and then i also forgot that i picked these up so i'm possibly gonna pop these aside just for christmas because he doesn't need all these bullets um but again i picked these up in the entertainer these are actually by nerf it's a pack of 50 bullets so you get obviously i don't really know i don't know what the difference is the blue i think are an elite bullet and the orange are the Accu Strike. I mean, it might mean more to you than me. I don't know. He just said he needed them. And these were on offer for £5, four fifty. So yeah, amazing buy if you need these stocking fillers, anything like that for Christmas. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I have got, I'm waiting for the other one to come. Um, but I always like to get them like a book, something um, along those lines. I, obviously they get toys, but I like to get them books and things like that as well. Um, and again, you see a theme here, construction. He absolutely loves, we picked him up. What one, do they show you what ones are in the range? Digger disaster. So he had for Christmas the Dino Digger, Digger disaster that I managed to find in Asda. Um, and in the back of the book, obviously tells you what other books are part of that series. And there's two others, cannot find them anywhere. I've been trying for months and I went onto Amazon and they sell them. Um, they weren't the cheapest. I think they were 5 99 each, but I managed to pick them up. The Dino Digger, Dumper Truck Danger. And then he's also got, I think it's called, yeah, Crane Calamity. That one is due to come today. So I'm gonna give him those. And he actually spotted this and he's so excited. So yeah, we'll need to get that wrapped so he can't see it before his birthday. Okay, and then, so I know he's got some other bits and pieces toy-wise coming from other family members. Um, he also, because of when his birthday is, it's right as we're transitioning into autumn um, and we we do need different wardrobes here in the UK because we actually have the, the full seasons. So what I like to do, um, one of my sisters always likes to get him um, bits and pieces going into autumn uh, for his birthday rather than toys because she knows he's getting toys from like myself, my husband and other family members. So I don't have those items here to show you but what I am planning on doing which I thought would be handy as well because I love to watch these sorts of videos is going through like an autumn winter lookbook for Ollie and then one for Darcy because again it is so hard trying to shop between a boy and a girl. I really struggled when I had Ollie but I feel like I've got sort of like a good sense of places to go and things to buy now so i thought that would be really helpful but i've got a few pieces here that he's going to be having so first of all this is mainly for his birthday but he'll wear it anyway as a t-shirt so i like to get him a birthday t-shirt each year we typically tend to get them from a online shop called crib star um he's had ones in the past that say not your basic uh, one year old two year old he had one yet last year that just had um four written on it that was by a company called birdies and bear cubs this year i went with crib star again and i just got him the number five on his t-shirt just i thought this would be handy because he's into because he's gonna be starting school he's obviously learning his number recognition so i thought this would be helpful as well and plus he's just gonna look absolutely adorable in it so he'll be wearing that on his birthday so keep an eye out for his birthday vlog um he is also in desperate need of some wellington boots if you've watched any of my other vlogs it doesn't matter what time of year it is my child will be in the garden in wellies i mean it can be like 30 plus degrees and he'll be out there shorts t-shirt and wellies on he loves them so he gets complete wear out of them so i don't mind spending a bit extra so i always get him hunter wellies and up until now he's always had the first wellies so um they're just flat on the bottom and honestly if you could see the ones he's got downstairs they have no grip they are completely smooth so he has completely worn them out um so this year i've got him just the the more grown-up version i'd say so they've got a thicker sole so i'm hoping it lasts a bit longer a tiny little heel and i mean how adorable are they so I got these. I managed to find these on a website called Country Attire and they were £32. So I didn't think that was too bad. Um, and I've sized up half a size so they will for sure last him the whole winter, probably into next summer as well. So yeah, he's got those. 
And then finally, the piece of clothing I've got, I do have a Zara order coming in, um, but I didn't want to pop it in this video because I thought I would save it for my autumn lookbook for him. Um, but I did just have this set here. This is again from the same company that I got the birthday t-shirt from Cribstar, and it's a loungewear set. So um, I know Ollie's gonna be five, but I really love him in like leggings and um, rather than like jeans and things like that, I love him in leggings. And I really struggle now. He's because he's quite big for his age. So a lot of the Instagram shops that I would shop at, Turtle Dove, places like that, they only got to age five to six and he stopped being able to fit in that um, like back last winter. So I'm kind of just having to see what I can pop him in. But uh, Cribstar actually got to nine to 10, I believe. So I got this lounge set in seven to eight because typically they, when you wash it, it does shrink. But it's just a lovely green lounge dress set and it's ribbed. Are you going to pick that up on the camera? Yeah, there you go. So it's ribbed. So they're leggings with a cuffed bottom. And then just a matching top to go with it. With it. And I just thought that would be lovely for, obviously, as the weather starts to cool down. And he wears Doc Martens quite a lot. The little boots in the, the winter. So that will look lovely with it. So that's going to be it for my video today, guys. I really hope you got some ideas from things that I've purchased. Everything that I can, I will link down below for you if you want to check anything out. Um, but as I said, what we do like to do between, obviously, ourselves and the family are, is to just get things that I know he needs and things that he's going to use. Because, um, obviously, we're only a couple of months away from Christmas. So I tend to, I don't like to go too overboard. Because um, otherwise, I end up just buying for the sake of it. Um, so I always like to make sure that I'm buying things that he actually needs and he is going to use um, so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already it really helps support my channel and it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying all the content that I'm putting out if you're not already I hope you'll consider subscribing and joining our YouTube family I would love to have you and until my next video which will be a clean and decorate with me so I'm going to show you um, basically how I set up for the birthdays I kind of go a little bit OTT on birthday decorations but it's just my thing um so i thought it'd be really fun to show you that because i didn't do that for darcy's birthday so yeah i want to show you what i get up to and things i'm going to be last minute buying off of amazon because he's changed his party theme um so keep an eye out for that and i will see you in my next video bye everyone